everyone. Welcome to Billy Home and Creations. This is Billy. Whew, I've been doing a marathon on my uh, my craft room. So, pardon my fingernails. Uh, I've got that uh, kills all for the floor on my hands. I can't get it all off. But anyway, I thought I better get cracking on a video. So, it's, oh, it's evening here and I got a second wind. Well, I had to take a nap, but you know. All right, now I have these crosses that I picked up from Walmart some time ago and they're, whoops, I'm dropping stuff. You know, they're, oh, probably balsa wood. They're, they're not bad. I had bought six, but one's kind of warped. So I've got five here and uh, we're gonna do, oh, maybe, maybe five different styles if things pan out the way I'm hoping. So, these were inexpensive. I think they were like 79 cents a piece or something. Um, first thing I need to do is remove these little hanger deals. So I get, I'll get the screws out, take those off. But I want to paint the backs. And three of them I need white. I don't know if this will get covered up because it's stamped in there. And I tried sanding it and it's, you know, the ink is embedded in there, but I'm going to go ahead and just start removing these screws. Of course, my screwdriver is bigger than what I need, but it should work. Anyway, we can put these back on later. So, I'm hoping everyone's doing well. I'm good. Just been very busy. Um... Dusty's coming over tomorrow, and we're going to put the floor down. Yay! Well, that's kind of rough. Nothing an X-Acto knife can't fix. Just kind of get that little rough part off of there. There's one. Okay, I'm going to quit talking and just go ahead and get this over with. Okay, that was easy enough. So, and we are going to be using resin. Just so you know, we'll be using resin. And uh, I'm going to try this white paint. It's a Martha Stewart high gloss. And I don't think I've used this one before. I think it's white. I hope it's white. It says it's, it's in high gloss paint. I can't see. Yeah, it looks like an off-white to me, but uh, no matter. Oh, it's white. Let's just get that dry stuff off of there. So, three of these, I want white. Now, I'm just worried about the backs for the time being. Uh, the fronts, we're going to do a little different. So Let's see if I can't get this covered up. Oh, should work. Maybe a coat or two. That's a nice thick paint. Actually, I'm kind of tired of, oh, tired of painting. I still have the baseboards that are out in the shop. They're going to have to be um, painted after we get the floor in. Thank goodness we got those off without, you know, breaking them or anything. And uh, I got my all my my windows trim painted. My wallpapers up. I'm not real happy about the trim job I did. You know, this is an old house, so the ceiling where the ceiling meets a wall, it's it's a stucco ceiling, but uh, where it meets a wall, it's not real straight. So when I took my straight edge to it, I I was hoping I could have done a better job with that, but that's okay. Ugh. You should see my house. I've got stuff. Ugh. My whole front room is full of stuff. Because that was that was our old office. And uh jeez. I'm in the back porch here and uh 
There's quite a few cupboards in here. And initially it was going to be the office, but I rather, I kind of took over with it. But it depends on what I can fit into the new room, whether I do my resining in there. I'd rather uh, keep this work area uh, for resining because of, you know, the windows and the sunlight. But uh, I can still get a lot of my supplies out of here and in the other room. So that is the plan. So I will fast forward this or I can just cut it out and get back to you when I'm done painting. So I'm sure you don't want to, you know, watch me do this, especially for five of them. So I'll put you on pause and I will be back when I have the uh, back sides painted. See in a little bit. Hello everyone, I am back. I did uh, paint the backs of my five crosses here. Um, then I went ahead and painted the fronts because I'm thinking I need to seal, you know, that resin in somehow and I need a background color. But the only one I didn't do was this brown one. I used the okra, and it's pretty dark. So I went ahead and used, well, burnt umber, excuse me. It's an umber, burnt umber, and then that's Americana. And then I have this folk art metallic gold, you know, along with Martha Stewart's white. And it is a wedding cake. That's the color. So... Let me set those aside. What I'm going to do next is we're going to get our polycrylic right here. And I am going to mix some micro powders with the polycrylic. And we are going to uh, do the front of these crosses. So let me have a seat here. And if you hear banging in the background, oh my God, Dusty's putting the floor in. Oh, oh I'm going to have a floor. All right. So, let me just get a little spoonful. I don't know how much I'm going to need, but for the gold cross, and that did not cover very well, I'll have to do something different. And while I was painting these, I thought, Billy, why didn't you just go spray paint them? Duh. But um, my shop is cold, and I didn't want to go out there and have a cold shop with wet paint curing. So let's start here. I've got some of the soap dyes from the soap shop. This is yellow gold and we will start here. I'm just going to get a little polycrylic here, put it in my little cup. Um, so I'm going to do the edges and the insides. We'll see how far that takes us. And a little yellow gold. And a little pop stick. We're just gonna let's try a little more. This will also give us a sheen around the edges too, because when I resin, I want to resin on the inside, not on the outside unless of course they turn out to where we do need to resin on the top side but that will be um down the road before i really know and i had a paintbrush here so it's sitting in water i forgot that overnight um and if i didn't tell you before i used to do ceramics with a lady across the street and she said, when you clean your brushes, just put a little bit of Dawn dishwashing soap or liquid dish soap, put it in the palm of your hand and you rub and rub and rub and get that soap right in the bristles, rinse it out, let it dry and your brushes are nice and clean. Um, she also said, this is dirty now, but put a little Dawn dish soap in your water that you, you know, when you clean your brushes or wipe it out. Just put a little Dawn in your brushes. I don't know why, but I always done it. I've always done it that way ever since she 
fit to. So, let's see. Mix that up pretty good. So this is what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna go through all five of these. I'm gonna use the yellow gold here. I am going to use, oh, I'm going to use this Just For You Online UK uh, Spice Gold for the brown cross. And for the white crosses, I'm going to use Just For You Online UK uh, White Pigment. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll probably cut some of this out or fast forward and I will quit talking for the time being. <laughs> You know I love to talk. I think I need, let's see how this goes. Boy, that's a match, isn't it? I still haven't told you what's gonna be on the inside of these, but that will be a surprise. And I'm sure the polyacrylic will seal the inside of these so we don't have resin seeping out. Okay, everyone, I have my crosses uh, covered with the polyacrylic and the micro powders but uh, this is the last cross and before I set them aside to dry I want to use um, some of this paper and I don't know what it's called but it is for fingernail decorating and I have a few sheets of this and what I want to do apparently you, you put down a glue and then it's a rub on but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to take a strip of this, cut it to fit, and I'm going to use uh, the polyacrylic here and just glue that down. So before I do that, I'm going to take a knife and just possibly cut, or maybe I just better, oh, well, I'll just take a knife. If it doesn't, uh, Fit exactly it doesn't fit exactly but I want to just cut this and I'm thinking should I grab a ruler oh maybe oh, it's not gonna work completely I've got a little one in the house but a straight edge would help anyway I am just going to lay that in there hopefully my blade is sharp enough and I am just going to Well, maybe I'm not. Let me just glue it down and then I can trim that when it's dry. We'll just do it that way. That will be easier. And then I will have to let all of these, well, maybe I won't. Let these set, set up a little bit. Um, grab a bit of lunch and then we'll get back to this. But see that shimmer? That's just just enough shimmer to brighten these up a little bit and I don't know if you noticed when I was painting but a little bit of paint goes a long way I tend to dip my brush quite often with just grabbing a little bit of paint at a time because you can really stretch out your acrylic paints. Oh, and there's a little hair of fuzz. So maybe it's just me, but you don't need to use a lot of paint. Just thin strokes of light layers seems to fit the bill. So let me just get a little more of this down. And we're going to use it as a paste. Just 
just a little thin a bit okay this is really pretty I just want a nice uh, little bit of a background color on this one particular cross here so we're just gonna set that in kind of line it up if that's a straight edge it should work for me and I just moved it try this again and I'm sure you know these aren't precise there that way I don't have to worry about glue and we should get a nice little backdrop here I'm gonna try to cut it I'm just gonna try let's see I've got two exactos here I think this blade is sharper let me see if I can do this without destroying everything Yes, straight across. Which there. Let's see if that will work. Peel that back. There we go. Except I missed a piece right there. I kind of didn't go straight. Lift that up. There. I'm going to set this in just like that. It's very pretty. I can't remember what it's called. Whoops. Don't mess it up, Billy. I wonder if I need more glue. Oh, this cross is starting to warp. Can you believe it? Oh, yeah it's warping hopefully when we get everything else in there it will lay down smooth I wonder if we have enough to go across both ways we might we get this set in and it doesn't reach ed edge to edge but that's okay after I just said, oh, don't use too much paint, and I need to add more. <laughs> what is that on there, a goober? Why am I picking up fuzz? Oh, that's just where I pulled the paint. All right. That should work just fine. Let's see if I can't piece this. Because um, we're going to cover most of it. Just get the scissors here. Some trim here. Come over here. Trim. Getting staticky here. that down as we use that up I don't know what those little flowers I wonder if those are dogwood flowers if they were dogwood flowers that would be um, maybe coincidental because Christ speaks of the dogwood tree and the Bible speaks of the dogwood tree I wish they would grow here in Idaho but they don't I think that's one of the prettiest trees there are so 
dogwood. There. Let that set up. What's left? Should I try a skinny little piece? Yeah, let's just cut this in half. If I can. It's hard to see. I'll just get a little strip of that to cut this way. I'm going to try to go down the middle. I must still have wallpaper on my mind. <laughs> this is like laying wallpaper. Whew. We're just going to set that in and cut a piece. Come on, Billy, get, get it about there. That'll be a pretty background, won't it? I'm thinking. Just like that. Get down. Oh, I love that already. Goodness sakes. Let's see. Just get a little piece from here to about there. Whoop. Oh shoot. A little paste on that. All right. Timing is perfect. Dusty just came in with lunch. So I'm going to let these all set up and I will be back with you shortly. Here you are. See you in a few minutes. Okay, I am back. I have a full belly. Whew. Feeling good. Now, let's continue with this white cross. Um, what I want to do is I have some dried flowers here, and I want to use just the, the white ones. And I want to get some green leaves, which I just had, and here they are few green leaves. We're going to put some dried flowers in here. But as, along with the dried flowers, I'm going to add a feather. Now, this feather came from my pigeon named Peach. Um, but let me tell you a story. It, it, um, it has to do with coincidence, coincidences, and I truly believe there's no such thing as a coincidence. So let me tell you a story. Some of you may know and some probably don't, but 20 years ago I lost my son Willie. He was 24 years old and he passed in September. Now that same November I was scheduled to do a big art fair and I, my friend, my friend Sally talked me into doing it. She said, you know, get out of the house. It'd be good for you. So I went and did this art fair. And of course, I was, you know, a complete mess. But I made it through the day. Well, when I was packing up my tables and getting everything out to the car, I went outside. And of course, this was November. And... There was something rustling under the under the leaves out there. And I thought, what in heaven's name is that? Well, I dug in the leaves and it was a baby pigeon. And it had just pin feathers, almost bald. Well, I took this pigeon home and I raised her. And I named her Peach. So Peach was in our house as a baby, and I, you know bottle or baby fed and baby fed and baby fed this pigeon 
Uh, my husband and I taught her how to fly. And uh, I had her in a big parrot cage. But as she grew, I asked Richard if he would build me a pigeon coop. And, you know, he did. God bless him. He made a pigeon coop. So I had Peach in there. And I could walk in, sit down, have my pigeon uh, on my shoulder, play with my bird, and um, drink my coffee or read a book, you know. Spent a lot of time out there with her. Well, I got to thinking maybe Peach was lonely. So let's get her a companion. So we went to, to see a gentleman who raised pigeons, and I got this beautiful white pigeon, and I named her Pearl. Hence, this is Pearl's feather. But the coincidence began when one day I'm sitting out with per, uh, Peach in my pigeon coop. This was before I got Pearl. And uh, she started to coo. I said, oh my goodness, the pigeon coos like a dove. And the, the pigeon represents the messenger, right? And then I thought, she's cooing like a dove. The dove, in the biblical sense, represents peace. Well, two and two together was the good Lord sent me a messenger who was sending me peace. And I thought, that's a lovely story. And I really believed at the time that the good Lord was sending me peace just through a dirty little bird that nobody cared about. Pigeons are dirty. You don't want a pigeon. But anyway, we got Pearl. And the two were females, and they were happily companions. They continued to lay eggs. But um, there was a year when that, uh, oh, what was that disease that came through and it was killing big birds? Oh, I can't remember the name of it, but it took... It took my pigeons, but that's my story of a coincidence with a messenger who represented peace and helped bring that into my life. So I hope you like that story. It means a lot to me. Now, the white feather in this piece is going to represent the dove who during, after the flood, the big flood, Noah discovered, knew there was land when the pigeon brought him the olive branch. So I have some tattoos here that have branches. And I, I'm not sure what an olive branch looks like, but I'm thinking maybe I should put a branch across here. There's some bigger ones here. So I could put a big one down here and maybe the smaller one across the top. There's another big one here or this one. So what I think I'm going to do is before we set everything into place, that could be an olive branch because of the little buds on that. I don't know. But I think the feather will cover that one up. So that's a bit small. Maybe we will use... this town tattoo right here and I think there's another one close to this size did I see it that one's big let me look back here those are probably too small but maybe we will use this one I'll cut this one out we'll have a bit of a branch show through now these would normally set upside down but I don't want them upside down I want them right side up so I'm just gonna trim a little closer to these leaves so they'll fit within the cross. And 
and we'll see how that goes. I might have to use my my makeshift paste using um, my polycrylic. Get this one out. And then we'll just plan what this will look like. And then when I make up the resin, we'll make up the resin for all of the five crosses. But for the time being, we're just going to plan them out. Now this is going to be sticky on the top side after I remove this protective film. Like I said, we can't. They're made to be upside down, and I can't do it upside down. So I'm just gonna bear with me. I've got a lot of resin on these. I need to clean them. We'll try to set these in. Maybe we can go right up top there. That's going to be covered by the feather. Let's see if we can put one a little that way. Or we'll cut it down. That's what we'll do. Move this little white flower. I just want the white ones. I need to clean those tweezers. We move that one over there. I have a flower in there and I can trim this one to kind of go like that and I hope oh I'm not thinking I'm gonna get that white paper off I'm gonna have to wet it aren't I oh darn it well Bear with me, I'm going to get a little bit of water and a little sponge so I can get that backside off. I'll be right with you. Okay, I've got a little piece of plastic here. And we are, I'm not taking that off yet. I don't think I'll take that off till we do the resin. But we need to get this white paper off of here. So I want my sponge. Dampen this up. This is a new one. This is a new experiment. <laughs> oh, this is what Billy does. See if we can't get that off of there just by tapping it with some water. Get it wet. And maybe it will. I need my glasses on. That's what I need. Maybe. We can peel that off, if I'm so lucky. Ooh, I think we've, I think, I think we've done it. All right, looky there. All right, that is off. Okay, now, we're just going to set this in there like that. Maybe it's wet enough to where it will stay in place. Nope. Not quite. Well, let's get the, let's get the, oh, wrong brush. Where is it? Let's get that little bit of white back. Where did I put it? Here we go. Let's just set some more of this down. Quite a bit. Like that. Okay. <coughs> Pardon me. Let's get this one off. Maybe we won't need any greens. Let's use the just use the stencils or the uh, tattoos here. 
Now, everything I'm using will be listed in my Amazon storefront. And you know you find those... Oh, is that going to be too wide? Um, in the drop-down box, under the title of the video, where it says more, more, you will find all the items I'm using listed in my Amazon storefront. And if you go through my link, you can shop anywhere on Amazon, and I might get a little kickback commission. There. Oh, that's going to work, isn't it? All right. Now, where do I want to put these? I think I want one right in the center. Wouldn't you say? We'll just tap this one down, too. Same way. Give it a little adhesive there. And when we pour the resin, everything should be A-OK. -okay. Now, let's see where this feather is going to go. It's just barely wide enough. Well, I might... No, I don't want to cover up. I, I don't, we can move this over, can we? Maybe a little. I want the whole part of the feather to show. Because we don't want to cover up the tip of it, right? So, I think I can do that that way. Now, let's see. If there's other flowers in here we could possibly use that are flat and that are really, really white. Well, okay, Billy, you just had it in your hand. Where's those tweezers? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Can't, I can't see. Can you see them? Help me. I buried them. I covered them up. I covered them up with something. There they are. Okay. Let me get a little leaf. That one on top needs a bit of a leaf. I don't want that one. I don't want that one. One of these will be perfect. See, those tweezers are shot. I have another one. I have another tweezer here. Well, that's a knife. We don't need that. Scalpel. That's not a knife. Now I'm wasting time with lollygagging. I know I had another pair here. Oh well. Take a little of this paste. And we're just going to put a little glue there. Get a little leaf. Come down there. Get our flower. Stick that in about there. Well, we can trim that before I get the resin down. Is that one too big? That's kind of big, but we're going with it. All right. That should be fine. And get another one of these leaves. I don't know what kind of leaf this is, but they're very pretty, aren't they? Whoop. Now. I'm going to mess up that. Let's put that in there. And just so I don't cover up, everything. Put a little flower right there. Just kind of set that in. Whoop. Set that in there. Let's do that again over here. Whoop. 
extra Marcus glue and go this way up and this little daisy might fit in there better than the other one well, let's see what else we have that's flat and small hmm That's kind of big. I'm going with the daisies. We're just going to do the daisies. Just like that. What do you think? That looks good, doesn't it? Oh, yes, I think I like it. And if there's one more smaller one... Let's look and see. They're all about the same size. This one might be smaller in here. Just grab it. Let's just grab this one. We'll just overlap it on that one. And still see the branch branches. Okay. And I'm just gonna put one at the bottom. And then we'll are, we will attach the feather. Let's see, how is this one going to look? I don't think we need any vines down here, do we? No. We should be okay. down there. Kind of. See if we can arc that in there. And one more daisy. And they're all big. This one might be alright. Well, it's pretty good size too, but we'll, we're putting it in there. A little glue. We'll call it glue. Set that in there. We'll trim it up later once everything dries. Now, I think we're good there. Put these back in a little box. So, this. It's almost ready to go. So, Pearl's feather is going to stick out. And I don't want to cut the tip off. I really don't. Now, if I use Peach's feather, she was a gray pigeon, multicolored, you know. But Pearl was completely white. So, I'm going to try. Oops. I've got my glue gun heated up here, and we're just going to go very carefully across this middle section. Do I have glue? Yes, I have glue. I need to get another stick in here. I don't want it all to show. There we go. Ooh, I'm got the tail end of this glue stick. We're going to set that right in there. Oh, oh, yeah. Turn it a little bit. Darn it. We're gonna, now it's sticking and I've got a bit of the feather over the edge. I should put some down in there. See if I can just squeeze a little bit in there without it showing through the feather and messing anything up. Just right, bead right in there. Okay. Now, oh. any time, other time I've used a feather in my work, I have put it in. Uh, Oh my goodness, what do I want to say? 
I sealed it in with a laminator. But that should be ready to pour. I've got glue right there. All right. Let me know what you think about this one. We'll see how it turns out later. For the time being, I'm going to take a piece of tape. That's going to be right level with the resin. That's going to be perfect. So without ruining anything, I'm just going to push that down and tape that off. And hopefully it doesn't pull up the paint. All right. Ta-da! There's number one, White Cross. Okay, now, let me put this aside. And let's go for this bronze. Didn't that turn out pretty or gold? I'm going to have to touch up the back here. I got a little sloppy, but I will fix that once it's complete. I can just paint, paint that again. Okay. Now, this one is going to be a whole different ballgame. This one, uh, you know me, I like my steampunk. Look at all these goodies. These are the little goodies. <laughs> these are bigger goodies down there. I don't think there's anything in there that will fit. I save everything and take it apart. Just, I don't know why, but I've always been fascinated with stuff like that. Oh, this is in a jar. I have to share this with you. This is my sweet Sadie Mae, my beautiful wine Reiner. Um, this was put into a business, and it said, In remembrance of Sadie Mae for our furry friends, and it had dog biscuits. But that's my beautiful girl. I, I had her 13 years. Um, this last month, be three years ago, we had to let her go. But she was such a great companion. She hated the camera. That's why the look of fear is in her face. But... Anyway, that's my sweet girl, and we we haven't re, you know we haven't got another dog since. So, just a house full of cats and my little bird. That's about it. We're gonna pour some of these out. Look at this. Look at this stuff. Isn't that great? Oh, oh. Billy's in heaven. And every piece of steampunk needs a clock face. So we'll be using that. And either a moth or a butterfly. Now this was laminated. So that's going to go there. And in order not to bore you, I'm just going to start putting things in. And I will fast forward. So you can see what kind of a... <laughs> God, it's so exciting. These are going to be gorgeous, aren't they? All right, stay tuned. I'm going to stop talking. I'm just going to start placing pieces, and we won't worry about anything else till the resin is ready. We'll just get an idea. And I have a cat in my chair. Annie, you need to move, please. Come on, sweet girl. Go on. All right. I've got to sit down for this. Let's see what we can find. Well, I think that's enough for now. We might find a little more pieces, but um, yeah, I just love, I love loading them up. I just love loading them up to where you can't fit much more in it, but looks like I'm a little limited on my small pieces. Oh my God, I'm finding jewelry parts in here too that I didn't know was in here. All right, a little piece. We'll finagle them when we get pouring look at these tiny little washers did you see that tiniest little screw i ever saw in my life look at these oh look at that spring there's one one of the tiny little springs computer pieces we'll just throw it all in there i think we're good all right let me pause you and i'll go on to the next one okay let's get another one ready now what I have here 
is some beautiful bee stickers with beautiful sunflowers and some hives. And I got these from Let's Resin. A real nice set of uh, beetles and and uh, bees. And Well, I can show you the package right here. Let's Resin, Insects and Spiders. Oh yes, I remember the spiders. I used beautiful spiders on uh, my Halloween tray, but there's beetles and flies and praying mantises, moss, spiders, all kinds of things, lots of bees in there. And then we have the holographic stickers too. So I am just gonna try to design this little bee cross, and I don't know, I guess Mother Earth, Christ, this beautiful world we live in, bees are a major part of our survival. So, um, yeah, I think, at first I thought this big one would be pretty in the middle, but it's a little too big and I'd have to lose part of the wings, you know, so I'm gonna go with this pretty one in the middle so uh, let's start here I guess I can peel him off and not stick it on there completely we're gonna have to do some trimming I know that but these are so pretty They're very detailed now if I can get this up without buggering up a leg or something will be good but anyway that's my plan to have this beautiful bee somewhere well he would he'd be off center but something like this so I'm just gonna temporarily put him here and work around it now I want to start with these sunflowers, I think these two are the same. They're about the same size, but I thought we could nestle them in. I'll have to cut part of it off, but we could nestle. Um, nestle, I guess I'll just go in. Well, I think I want to um, get most of the flower or most of the leaves. I'm just gonna see if I can't make a ridge that I will cut like that. Put that one there. Oh, these are so pretty. And you know with the resin on top it's gonna really elevate the colors and really look pretty smart in there so I can Ooh, we need to look at these hives aren't those pretty let's get a hive with a bee and we'll just decorate this entire piece Little hives how should we put him maybe that way so, I might have to put a flower under that, so let me lift it a bit. It's my exacto knife. Don't know how sharp this is. So let's, we've got two more hives. We can put one over to the left side, I think. Let's see, let me get most of it in there. Something like that. So let me lift this. Ooh, it's got some good adhesive, that's for sure. I'm gonna lift that up. Oops. Set this right in there. Like that. That leaves a gap. What about if we put this corner piece in there? Oh, let's kind of go like that. 
edge in there. Lay that down like so. Okay. Um, there's another one with the B. What do I have on there? Dried resin. I need to clean up my surface area, that's for sure. Um, that one would look nice, right? About here. Trim that off a little bit. Get that one. Well, let's go for the hole. Well, I, where's my scissors? Let's just cut this one off right here like that. one in here like so. That one will go there. Um, 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 um. Back to the big flowers. We are just going to pack these in. I like packing things in, not being sparse. So let's turn it this way. Move this down so you can see me. We're going to put this one somehow like that. I better get to trim and get this edge in here. Put that one down like that. That like that. Um, I think we need a little something right here. So let me find. Um, well, they have these. Oh, they have the white. Ooh. We'll have to put one of those white ones in there. First, I thought about you know cutting a pieces of these pieces of these rings, but we won't. Well, we might, but for now. Let's just set this in here. Right about there. Come on. Like that. All right, I have an idea where he's gonna go. We should move him over a little bit. Kind of losing it under that other flower. Let's move this over. Uh, yay. Well, that fills in a little bit, actually. Actually, let's flip it upside down. We'll get more of the flowers showing that way. Like that. That'll be better. I'm going to go ahead and remove this now that I have a tentative idea as to where I want to put it. Let me stick it right there again. All right. Um, let's do the same over here. Well, actually, I've got a sunflower, a smaller sunflower. Let's Set this in here. Get under you a little bit. That should be pretty. Very pretty. All right. Put that in there. Okay. I could have got a little closer. That's all right. Make sure that's down. We can make sure this is down. Make sure that's down. And can move this one over just a gosh. Get it more into the to the edge. Not take its wing off. 
Well, I didn't get far, did I? What's it right in the corner? There we go. Just like that. Let's see where that leads us. This one. Oh, that's... There we go. There we go. No, I have to trim. We're still going to have a little gap. You need to go there. I need something right here. That's apparent. So, it's more daisies. There's some other things. But I don't know if that will get cover that bee up. Oh, this daisy has a bee too. Well, we might get covered, but we just need some filler here. Collage it. Collage it. Tram, tram, tram. Um, 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 um. I like that one though, don't you? Isn't that cute? I only have one of those. That's a, Well, that's the same as the big one. This guy's a little too up close and big. So we will just go back to the daisy. There. I'm going to cover that bee up. which would be the best way to go there. Let me lift this part up. So he's not covered completely. I'll just have him on a flower. There. Can you see him? Not very well. Well, for goodness sakes. they'll be you know what I'm gonna have to cut one of these rings I think let's put that back let's see we can that one's got to be inside let's just go with this plain one here and we will make it work I think you can always make it work one way or another right Oh, that's a little hive piece. We'll just throw that there. And let's see, what can we do? We're going to stack them. I think these scissors have a bit of resin on them, I'm going to have to really clean my tools. We can just fill it in. We can put this one here. And we can take little one here put that right in there let's go this way yeah, let's go this way there um, what else needs a little fill in I want to pack this I really want to pack this in nicely Let's see. Just looking around. Ooh, I can put that one. Like so, right in here. That. OK. 
Okay. Now, let's see what we're looking at again. He's going to be in the center. He won't lose his wings. We're just going to get a little bit of that flower. Gosh, I could probably just cut that flower out. Thinking. Yep, let's cut this flower off. Now, my thought was, here we are. Just cut this out and we can save it for another time. Recording? Yes. Okay, we're recording. That's at least... That's almost figured out. Alright, I'm going to get my blade and do some trimming in here. Make sure that's down. And, of course, in the edges, I'm just going to do a little cut in the corner. You'll never see that. And come straight down here that. Get rid of it. In there. Cut. Okay. There we go. Get rid of that. That's good. We can do the same on this edge. Just go right into the corner. Close to the edges we can get. Like that. Pull that off. And let's see, what do we have here? That one's good. Oh, my fingernails, I was painting again a little bit today. Sure. Oh, I missed a piece right here. Get that off. There we go. Get rid of that. I'm going to lay this down under there. Cut this corner piece. And that will lay down. That will lay down. Get in there. Do a little slit in the corner. So that corner will get in there and I'm going to tuck it in. That. that one's good. We just need to trim. Like so. Get rid of that. I think it's going to be lovely. I love lovely pieces. Alright, I gotta trim this side first. Get my fingernail in there. I envy those artists that have beautiful nails and they create. Mine would just be a disaster. I tried that. I don't like nail polish on my hands for some reason. Let's get rid of that. Okay. Oh. Another edge here. Make a slit in the corner. Push that in. And tuck that in. I'm missing this edge here. Very good. What do you think? Let's get that 
Here you go, bumblebee in there. Gosh, I love bumblebees. You know, I have a lot of bees in my garden, in my yard, but I don't, I don't see the big bumblebees that often. I want to get, let's see, his entire, Ooh, look at that, that will barely trim this. It's the plastics kind of in the way. That one piece there. Let's see how we do. And I'm going to cut right there. Whoop. Take his nose off. There's a piece of tape on the side that keeps getting me. Okay. Now, if we go in like that, we're going to get his wings, his feelers. There's a little bomb. Oh, and I can get that plant in like that. Branch of leaves. We'll trim that. Okay, what are we missing? Are we missing any little spots? Possibly right there, eh? I love it. Possibly right there. Let's get a little bit of this flower bulb bit I was cutting. Let me get this little section of, sh there we are, right there. Let's get that piece. Well, we won't get our big flowers in like, you know, here. That's okay. We can save that for another date. Let's get this right, kind of. I'm going to over, go over the one, but I want to keep his little feet on there. Ha ha! That's going to be lovely with resin on top, don't you think? Please leave me a comment. And we're through. All right, I have two, two crosses left. Now, um, I can do those with the resin without having to put any additional pieces in. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix my resin and I will get right back to you and we can pour. And then we won't have to worry about a reveal, but I am thinking once the resin is even, you know, with the inside portions, ooh, doming the tops might be a nice idea too. We'll see. All right, I'll be right back. Well, I think I'm going to start with the uh, quicker ones first, the ones that we just need to um, fill with resin, and that would be the honeybees and my beautiful cross with peaches white feather in it. So I've mixed up four ounces of um, my diamond clarity. I did warm it up prior to mixing. It's still a bit bubbly, but I'm gonna go ahead and pour. We can tackle bubbles in a moment, but let's get these two um, ready to go. Actually, I can fit three on here if I go this way. So there's my leveling board. I'm going to go ahead and I see a hair. Could it be a kitty cat's? Most likely. Well, we we'll, won't worry about it. All right. Four ounces. We'll see how far we can go. Start in the middle and let it find its way. If it will. Without going over. Guess we'll help it along. not sure how much one cross will take if it's just you know practically all resin so 
we'll find out. Something tells me I'll have to make a little more. It's okay. We're almost to the top. Oh, and I really think I would like to do a pour on the edges once this is set. a bit. Get rid of these bubbles. Down the side here. That's pretty. Gosh, that might have taken it might have taken two ounces. A little bit right there. Come on. Okay. Okay. Let's see. I have my. Oh, let's see. Four ounces. I may have used not even a third of an ounce. So let me go ahead and fill Paige's feather. There's a little brown spot there. What is that? Oh well, can't get it off unless I cut it out. And I'm hoping we're going to get bubbles out of that. So we'll have to watch that closely. Let's see what we can do. Here, I'm gonna have to press down a little bit. Let's see if we can't get underneath. I'm gonna use my little makeup tool. This one's got already has resin on the tip. Let's just push that down a little bit. Oh my goodness, it's gonna go translucent on us. Do you think we'll be able to tell it's a feather? Oh my goodness. Because it's white. Oh, I didn't think about that. I think we'll be able to tell, I'm hoping. One side still has col white color to it. Hmm. we can fix that once it's cured. I'm not sure. This is going to stick up a little bit. I can still see the vein. Or, well, what do you call those? They're not veins of a feather, are they? Just, just. Well, look at that. Darn it. Who knew? I wouldn't even have thought about that happening. What about you? You'd think, that, you'd think being light as a feather, no pun intended, that the resin would hold that down. I guess we'll see. Lots of bubbles. Oh gosh, lots of bubbles that flower down. Make sure they're in there good. That one looks good. This one needs a little help. Makes no mind. I will still know that it is Pearl's feather. Ooh. Something is... is that... Oh, there's a part of the sticker flapped up. Oh God, I wonder if I can cut that while it's uh, sticking up like that. Oh, you don't know. I don't know if you can, s oh, where are you? I'm not even in frame for you, I'm sorry. There's a little section and that's flowing over. Gosh. The cross is flowing over. Am I not level or? I should be level, but I'm telling you, I bet this 
cross is warped. So, oh no, I've got a, I'm gonna have a heck of a mess. No, no, no. I'm gonna have to go over the sides now, that's for sure. And I didn't protect the bottom. Oh, Billy. Oops, oops, oops. Shoot, and if I set it down like that, it's gonna drip. I wasn't even thinking. That's me, not thinking sometimes. Well, you know what? If it goes under, which I think it will, I'm just gonna have to sand it and repaint it. Hmm. If I can, might as well spread it around. Didn't think about that, but I didn't intend to go over the edges either. Oh well. You know, a lot of times when you think you think things are you know, really messed up. It seems there's there's usually a way to fix it. Usually a way to fix it. So I'm gonna turn this around. If it's gonna go to one side, let's see if it'll change its mode of movement and go. Gosh, that's a bummer, isn't it though? No fears. Just get that on there, might as well. Fix it. Let's go around the top. We'll have some cleaning up to do on that one, obviously, right? How's Pearl doing over here? I've got, oh, I've got that. I need a little. I don't know if this, oh, look, <laughs> didn't clean that good enough. That's hard as a rock in there. Um, what can I use to lift that, some of that out? Let's try this. I can still see the feather though. Why don't you get over there? Yes, they're warped. That's the problem. But, you know, that's okay. Still gonna be lovely. I think. So, let me see. It's right to the edge, all the way across. Oh, let's hope I can cut this. That's the sticker. I didn't even notice that when we were putting it together. There we go. You're out. I thought, I thunk. I thunk it was out. Oh, I didn't cut it. Oops. I don't even have to cut it later. I'm going to try to cut it. Well, snip it maybe. I don't know if I can. Oh gosh. These aren't going to cut in the resin. Look at this. I feel like a surgeon. Gosh, when I was doing that uh, fish in the bubble in the sphere I first I felt like a dentist and I felt like a doctor there we go got it Whew. all right I'll just wipe those down I'll clean them up shortly did it run over a little bit a little bit let me get the uh, I'm gonna get the torch to that we're still running. Okay. Let's see what we can do. I love how that works. Don't burn the feather though. Still popping up. I'll have to play with this on my 
it's got no resin under it. That's why. Look at that. There's no resin under it. I wonder if we can move some under there. Yeah, I moved it under there. That should be better. How about this side? That's better. I still see the feather. What's, how's this one looking? See, that side has, remember, hot glue under it that I just tacked it down with. Hmm. Well, there's always something to learn, I must say, working with resin. I'm learning on a regular basis. So, I hope you're learning along with me. Looks good, looking sideways. Okay. We'll double check that in a minute. Let me wipe some of this up since I've got it everywhere. Whoop, I was going to torch my mat. <laughs> Alcohol. Get rid of this. I'll wipe this down. Yeah, I can see them bowing. I don't want it to go under it though. No matter what, no matter what, they're going to be gorgeous. All right, number three. Now, number three should be simple. I should raise you up so you can see better. Just give me a second. We're going to move. Hold on. Manual power here. Okay. See most of them. I moved that over. Well, heck, there you go, Billy. There's your pieces to the puzzle. We can see that one. Okay, this one should be simple. Huh. I've taken some white aquarium um, pebbles, stones, little rocks. Oh, I see an off-colored one, though. I'm getting rid of that one. And there's an ounce of stones in here. I'm just going to put enough resin in to get them pretty wet. And I may have extra. Let's just get these wet. And that's not getting warm. All right, I'm just going to stir. And I can't see my camera. There we go. I'm just going to get these drenched. This is going to be a simple cross. I was going to use um, the brown pebbles I have, the aquari aquarium rocks, but I don't think I have enough. But there's so much you can do with these. I mean, if you find these these crosses, whether it be uh, you know dollar store, Dollarama, or you know Family Dollar, Walmart is where I found these. Um, you know, for 79 cents, you can still make a pretty piece of art. I also thought about doing an ocean, you know, scene or just seashells. You can do that too. I'm not well versed in the ocean scenes yet. Um, I did one clock for my grandson. That was one of my first attempts with, uh, Resin, resin actually, so it's one of my earlier videos, and uh, it turned out it turned out nice. I did it on plexiglass. Like I said, it was my first try, so um, I was very happy with that. I uh, I can try it again. Let me know if you want me to try something. Try an ocean scene. I would gladly try anything. I might need what I did was I poured the rocks in the cross to see how many would fill it. And this is what I came up with. That was my thought. Using up my stuff. That was my goal. Well when I I wish I would have known I've said this before, I wish I would have known about YouTube years ago, goodness sakes. I would have started way back when, but I was clueless. 
Anyway, um, I thought if I started doing videos that and got into the routine that I would be able to manage my time better and actually force myself to get some projects done because my goal, like I said, was to use up what I have on hand. So, um, I am doing that. I'm actually using what I have on hand. I, I think my biggest expense actually, um, is, is buying resin and then the molds. I, 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 I've got some nice molds and I think that's where most of my expense has been. Um, but it's, it's, you know, it's, it's my, my music money, my band money is what I use to go towards my <laughs> resin projects. So I'm grateful I have that. And my room, um, the baseboards have been painted and they're, um, Richard's going to help get them down later on this evening. And then I can start moving things in and, oh, then you'll see what I mean. I consider myself a organized hoarder, but I've got craft supplies that I bet I've had since I was, shoot, 15, 16 years old. It's always been a big part of my life. But, uh, yep, I'm, I'm wanting to use a lot of those things up. I also, I'm down at the end here, if you can't see me, I'm down here. Um, I also started selling some, not, not a lot, but I do have an eBay shop, and I want to get some of my resin projects on there. There's not much. Um, but anyway, as I go through and set up my craft room, I think I'm going to package up some, you know, art supplies that... I have no need for or I don't figure I'll ever get to them and put them in my shop so for all you creative people out there I remember I'll put the link in but um, there's not a lot yet but I have been I uh, have been selling a few you know bits and pieces of craft supplies So I'd need to live another lifetime, actually, maybe, yeah, to uh, <laughs> get through it all. I'd say I'm an organized collector. That's what I'm going to say. I'm an organized collector. I need, I need to get on this because I have a little bit of resin sitting left, sitting there. Okay. How do you think that's looking? Get in there. This is another thing I can play with off camera. Get everything. I saw an off colored one. I won't wait. There we go. Now, this needs an accent of some kind. And I went through some um, broken jewelry or old jewelry pieces and I was looking for hearts. I found a few, but I'm almost ready to show you what I did find that I think will be quite appropriate for this. Let's put you up through all this. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. I keep saying that. There. All right. What I found is. Let me wipe my hand off. Alcohol. Big piece of paper towel here. I usually cut them in half. Okay. What I found instead of a heart well i found two things actually first of all i thought this i found this earring piece you know and i was thinking those three stones that could represent the trinity right i didn't like the hearts i found but what's gonna work for us is this earring which is a it's praying hands can you see that and that look at that what more could you ask for? That will be perfect. So I'm just going to take my 
wire nippers here and I'm going to cut that back piece off. Watch your, oh, well, yeah, that easily. These are probably getting worn too. Mm, there we go. I could have just stuck it in there without. So I'm thinking, here we are over here. I'm thinking about just putting to the side praying hands right there. It's just right there. What do you think? Gorgeous. It'd be nice if they were bigger, but I still think that's pretty, pretty darn lovely. And what I should do is press those in. All right. So there are our three. I'm going to do one more with you. And let me move this. I don't think I could tell if there's bubbles. I should give it a what what for here? How's this one looking? That's looking good. I can see the feather. I think that's looking great now. I have a toothpick and go around. I see a spot right here. It's part of the sticker. Okay. That's part of the sticker. Darn it. All right. Those just need to set up. Line of bubbles. Okay, that's going to be gorgeous, those three. Let me move them. Okay, to the other side of the countertop. Now, you know, I do have the... Oh, wrong part. I have this. Here's a tray. Just slipped it over. I still got plenty of resin. All right, so, you know, I've got the steampunk. And rather than watching you or you watching me, you know, pour the resin, place these all to, to fit nicely, I'll skip that part and you will see this one when I'm, when I'm done with it, okay? But I have one more white one. And what we're going to do with this one, move this again, is, <laughs> all right, last week I did the little uh, notebook with my resin scraps. So I weighed out an ounce of these resin scraps, and I thought, I'm going to put those in here, and then we'll top that off with some accents. So once again, I'm going to pour some resin, get those good and saturated and uh, we'll pretty that up a little bit yeah I might need most of that resin for this one if I have extra I'm going to use that little jar mold that I showed you I fell in love with those little jar molds alright now this could be tricky But I think to get them in easier, we need a little more. It's getting thick. All right, so let's just pretty much do the same thing as we did with the rocks. That notebook turned out pretty. So that was my uh, video right before this one. Number 84, I think. Gosh, I can't believe I've made 84 videos. Then I look at, oh, some artists are up into hundreds and thousands of videos, but they've been at it a while. I sure enjoy watching them. Um, off the top of my head, you know, I, I can I can do some shout outs. Uh, they're listed in my description, which is I think I told you this. I'm repeating myself um, in the under the title or under the video. There's a sec. It says more. And then in there, I've got shout outs to 
a lot of different artists. The ones that I consider master teachers, I mean, that really have taught me a lot. And there are um, some that have helped me along the way to get my channel growing, which I appreciate. And then I found some YouTubers that are, are starting out. Um, you know, I'm still starting out and I've got their links to their uh, channels listed so if you would like to go look at them and uh, help help them get a, get a nice start as they go on to their journey that would be very very kind of you very helpful gosh I don't know if I can put the accents in here maybe a couple We'll see. Well, that's a big chunk. What is that? That should have been in the big chunk pile. Ooh, that, I wonder. That's a big piece. Let's put that aside. Anyway. So that's it. I've got my descriptions and the items I used in there. Um, I also added a, uh, a buy me a coffee link if you would like to help me out a little bit with a, a cup of coffee that would be lovely I would appreciate that thank you thank you thank you so there's my spiel but it's it's important to me that you watch the other ladies that are starting their channels because they're quite talented very talented and several artists have helped me so that's where I'm at there. Okay. It's pretty thick. Probably didn't need as much as I thought I would, did I? So that's where I am. Well, I think it's pretty. It's pretty on its own. But growing up you know, I took art for Mr. Howard twice, two years, and uh, everything else I pretty much learned by myself. Just, you know, pattern books, or we didn't have YouTube then. Mom taught me to knit, taught myself to crochet. Where am I getting to here? I'm, I'm just on a tangent. Um. God, I just went dumb, blonde. <laughs> I just lost my complete train of thought. Ah. All right, if I had discovered YouTube a long time ago, I would have done it. But anyway, crafting's always been a part of my life. Oh, I know what I was going to say. Jeez, I must be tired. Um, I was going to say, with accent pieces, Mr. Howard, you know how you group things when you decorate in groups of threes? He said your art pieces should at least have odd number elements. That's what I was trying to say. So if I, you know, consider the cross, the white one, in these resin chips too when we need a third one just to accent it and what I have is I thought just some dried flowers so I'm just gosh look at that I'm just gonna put some it's getting tacky dried flowers on the top so let me grab a few and I'll quit jabber on it Oh, and I, I need to welcome new subscribers, too. Thank you for joining me. Welcome. I appreciate you all so much. Okay. There. Da-da. Well, not quite. Is that too much? Ooh, look at that big one. Well, there's my answer. 
No, I'll just add this. All right, I'm gonna grab some dried flowers. What color do you think we should use? Don't think yellow will f work out. I've got purple, red won't work. Um, got a few pink and white. So I just wanna make sure that's rather flush. So let me just press down a little. I'll have to baby this one too, off camera. I think we're good. I think we're good, but that's so pretty. Save your resin pieces. All right. Hoping I can have this done by Sunday. Today's Friday. I've been working in that room. Okay. Billy, stop fiddling. All right, stop fiddling. Um, where's my, I use my alcohol to wipe these gloves off before I get those flower containers. I think we should do pink. A few pink flowers, a little bit of greenery. And uh, I think I have some violas or Johnny Jump Ups what I call them. Let's see what we've got. Or this is going to drag on and drag on because you know how I get. And I apologize if my videos are long. I do edit and I try to speed up or take out. Um, gosh. It's not warm yet. I want to dip these a little bit. Ooh, what is this? This is a geranium leaf. Oh, what if we put that there? Looks kind of dirty, doesn't it? God, it does look dirty. That's just as bad. I wonder what that is. I'll put these online. I wonder if a resin will cover up that dirty looking bit. don't have anything that looks like a palm leaf so you know what I discovered a long time ago too I made this beautiful tray with flowers with dried flowers and I kept poking it down with my um, tweezers and then when it cured I had all these holes in my flowers because I punctured the twe punctured them with the tweezers like so don't do that okay Right behind me, here's Johnny Jump Ups. Is that too purple? I think we need pink, don't we? There's red, yellow, orange. No, we've got, we're gonna do pink. We're gonna throw up. Maybe just one single pink flower in there is all we need. I think. Then I'll let you go. <laughs> oh. Let's see. I love these containers. I got them from Michael's. When they're on sale, they're usually like, oh, what do I, I want to say? Forty-something dollars for one big um, container that holds all of, you know, several, a bunch of these. Forty-something bucks. And with my coupon, and did you know you can get a senior discount at Michael's, but you have to ask for it? Just ask for it. They'll give you a senior discount. I think it's... Well, don't quote me, but I want to say it's 10%. That's a big savings right there. But anyway, the last um, box with all these smaller boxes in it, $14. So that was a good savings. All right. Billy's done talking. Billy's going to make sure I have no bubbles. Keep an eye on these. And I'm going to go ahead and I will do the steampunk. Speaking of which, I'm just going to pour the resin into that and I can get started. So I'm going to dump these out. These are some of the things I wanted to have and I'll place them in. I love collecting things that are broken too. If they're broken, I'll take it apart. 
I love stuff like that. I don't know why. Okay. Here we go. Where's my stick? Oh, it's got stuff on it. All right. I will pour this, get these in place, say goodbye, and when you see me again, these should be finished, cleaned up, finished, possibly top coated, and I'll get the hangers back on and they'll be done. So I'll just say thank you everyone and until I see you next Sunday, have a wonderful week, take good care, hugs to you all, bye.